A branch shall sprout from the root of Jesse, and the glory of the Lord will fill the whole earth, and all flesh will see the salvation of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome you today as today we go ever more closer to the Christmas celebration. We're the O Antithons right now, just a couple of days in there. It's the words to O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, all of these entrance antithons. And they celebrate the joy of preparing that way for Christ to come ever deeper in our lives. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose infallible word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant we pray that by her example we may in humility hold fast to your will, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, Is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. He is the king of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is the king of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is the king of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, 
You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of David. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think our readings to take them together have two different words that compete with each other. One is the word ask, and the other is the word do. So, the first reading involving King Ahaz, all he was asked to do was to pray to God for safety and to take care of him and his people. And he's holding the line of the throne of David, King Ahaz. But you know what? He wouldn't ask at all. He says, I'm not going to ask. I won't tempt the Lord. But he doesn't want to ask because he wants to be the one that does it all by himself. Sometimes we're like King Ahaz. We want to do it all on our own and it can sometimes cause us problems. And we know that in retrospect. When it comes to the word do, that's the Blessed Virgin Mary in our gospel. When the angel appears to her and she says, how can this be? All she does is says, let it be done to me according to your word. Let me be the handmaid to allow God's kingdom and fruition to take place, to build that kingdom of God. There's a big difference between our first reading and also our gospel. One's only asked to ask. The other's asked to put it into action. And it's a lot harder to do as you say you're going to do, but that's what we celebrate with the Annunciation. Mary's yes to God to allow him to come into the world. I was at um, our penance service yesterday, the vicariate penance service. And um, you know, when you go to reconciliation, you're going there to, to receive reconciliation with God. And the challenge that was given during the homily before the, the ser- you know, during the course of the service was that we be instruments of reconciliation to those around us. Not that we just receive it, but that we do it. And it was sort of a beautiful way because you walk in there and you're thinking about reconciling with our Lord. And you're told one of the ways you can do it or be a part of it is be an instrument of reconciliation when you leave to those around you. Think of the effect that that could have on our area and on our world. And it's by the word do. To be a doer and allow Christ to come into the world to be the Christ-bearer in today's age. So today as we hear the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel comes to Mary to fulfill the prophet Isaiah, and once she's asked, her answer is yes. God will come to you in different ways during the course of this day, different decisions that you can make, and all you're asked to do is to also say yes. So think about in your own life where you can be a Christ bearer this day and you can bring patience or understanding or reconciliation or wisdom to a situation this day by the grace of God. And you can be sure the words Emmanuel is with us will be right there in the conversation and the interaction and also in our world. We can build the body of Christ by saying yes to God. Today in our final preparation days, 
May we offer that yes. Please rise now for the intercessions. Let us bring our petitions to our Father, trusting in his providential love and remembering that just as we hear Hail Mary full of grace, that the Lord is with her, that the Lord is also with us. For all members of the church, for you and I, as we begin this new day that leads us closer to Christmas, may we be open to the presence of Jesus in our lives and really look for it this day and continue to say yes to his invitation to follow him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the ways that we're called to be leaders and Christ bearers to bring Christ to the world, may the Holy Spirit guide us in our work in protecting the sanctity of all human life, working for the common good, protecting our natural resources, and looking out for the good of others by being charitable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Annunciation celebrates the gift of life. We pray for all the women out there throughout the world that are experiencing pregnancy right now, for people that have difficulty in pregnancy, for those that struggle to conceive, for all marriages and relationships. May God help to find strength and encouragement and we may receive God's gracious provision to allow us to trust in him and to say yes in him to wherever he leads us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we hear the Annunciation, it represents the strength of family life. We pray for all of our own families, all of our families that are gathered here, all those families that are participating remotely, all the ways that this Eucharist builds the body of Christ. May we be grounded, every one of us, in the love of God and strengthened by the Holy Spirit as we say yes and be a Christ bearer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dad, we pray in a special way this day for Thomas Kubicki. We pray for his, uh, his wife, Noreen, and his sister. We pray for, for Tom's um, mom. And we also pray for his children. Um, we pray that someday we may meet him again. And we also pray for Richard Lada, um, long-standing parishion of Our Lady of Victory Basilica, and just really had a full house when he was when this funeral was held a couple weeks ago. Um, just a very faith-filled family. Pray for his wife and his family as well. But for Tom and for Richard and all the faithful departed, may all those that enter into eternal rest. May they enter and experience the kingdom of God's presence, and may we meet them again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. And we make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we ask that you hear our prayers and grant what we need. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited, and for which our faith bids us hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles and the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Our Advent prayer of reconciliation number two begins at page 24. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins. You brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating therefore the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in the saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son. So also bring us together 
with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The angel said to Mary, Behold, you will conceive and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.